Okay, little man, now you be a good boy, okay? And help take care of your baby sister. And tell your daddy I'll be there as soon as I put on the spare. What's he saying? Yes, you can tell him Nana knows how to change a tire. Oh, I love you too, honey. Okay, night, night. So, you're the culprit, huh? What the hell? Damn kids. Thanks a lot. Not too bad for an old chick. Oh, hi. I thought I heard something. Uh, I just had a flat tire, but um, I, I, it's all finished now. It's all fixed now. Uh, I'm sorry. I I'm on your property. I, uh, I didn't mean to stop here, but I have a flat tire. I'm, I'm going to be going right now. No. No. I know, I know. You want to go to the lake. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> lately I've been thinking an awful lot about that lake. Ta-da! Lori Lynn Curtis, where on earth did you get this car? Did someone forget that my divorce was final last week? Oh my God, that's right. Don't you just love a divorce? Lose a cheating husband, get a new car. Oh my goodness, it is just <laughs> wonderful. Sinful. It is, isn't it? Oh. How are you? Come on. I'm going to take Jason for a walk at the lake. Come with us. Oh, sure. We'll just put him in the front seat of my new car. Or better yet, the trunk. Oh. I put it in the living room yeah. so we could unpack so the box. Why would you do that? The that doesn't room, make any sense. No. Have you met them yet? Mm, no, not yet. I think he works at the college with Norman. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think they're in the same department. Oh, but, uh, is that him? Uh-huh. They've been here three days. All they do is fight. Really? They don't look like the fighting type. Oh, yeah. Does Norman look like the cheating type? No one's ever what they seem. So where is he? He's at school. He's always at school. Summer sessions start earlier this year. You think it's an 
another woman. Maybe. What are you gonna do about it? I don't know. You think we should just kill him? Never kill someone you know. It's the quickest way to get caught. Oh, listen, I, I gotta run. You gonna be okay? Yeah, thanks. You think my new ride will get me some hunks? Yes. Yeah, I do. Cool. <laughs> get out of here, you idiot. Don't you dare go in there. Come on, Jason. Emerson once wrote that if you sow a thought, you reap an action. If you sow an action, you reap a habit. Sow a habit, you reap a character. You sow a character, you reap a destiny. Each one of us, one day, will be held accountable for his or her own actions that we've taken. A man's character is his destiny, his fate. Okay, that's it for today. Oh, don't forget, paper's due on Wednesday. That's this Wednesday, not next semester. a lot. All right, go get it. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Hi. Come here, Jason. Come here. Give me that. Where did you get this? Home early. Yeah, I know. Finished everything up and got the hell out of there. Did you go to the lake again? Yeah, we just uh, got back. What's this? Uh, Jason found it uh, up at the lake a little while ago. He did? Mm -hmm. Think it's uh, worth anything? I have no idea. Well, it was nice talking to you. Dinner's almost ready. Hey, hon. I have to run back to the campus real quick. Right now? Yeah. Like an idiot, I left my briefcase there. You have a briefcase? Yeah. And it can't wait till after dinner? No, this will just take a second. Hello. So what are you wearing right now? The suit I was born in. Ooh la la. And what are you doing? Enjoying my dinner. Table for one, I assume. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? Doing what? I'm eating dinner. Yeah, alone again? You should taste this corn. 
That's another thing. Why do you have this giant cornfield and you don't sell any of it? It's not giant. It's big enough. It was my mother's, okay? <laughs> don't get me started on that psychopath. It keeps me busy. Tomorrow I'm making cornbread. Ooh, whoopee! Hey, I'll keep you busy. We gotta get you some action. Come out with me tonight. Oh, please. What do you mean, oh, please? Come on! In your sporty little car? The hunk magnet. Hunk magnet? Hey, don't you laugh. I'm not laughing. I'll pick you up at eight. Oh, no, I can't. Why not? Because I've got stuff to do. I just can't come out. I'm gonna pick you up at eight. Lori. Eight o'clock it is. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh. All right, ladies, I want to go from the top, if that's okay? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, this time I'm going to time you, so no more marking. I want to see it full out. Got it? Okay. All right, sharp arms, everything. Ready? All right. All right, cool. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, pose. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, we're just gonna stop there today. You guys did great. Uh, just grab all your things and make sure you don't leave anything behind. Great, thank you. Thanks. with Norman. Just look at all the real estate in here. Even you could get laid in a place like this. Hello, have you met my husband? Hello, have you met his girlfriend? I'm sorry I said that. Okay, I am. I just think you need to take your life back, that's all. Have a life, Lori. You want to go? You know, I don't just come here to get laid. No? Of course not. There's a whole other sinister reason. <laughs> just one drink, okay? Just one. You buying? No, girlfriend. I ain't buying squat. They are. Ladies. So that's why I decided to change my major to economics. <laughs> what a great story. Isn't that a great story, Alice? <laughs> Thrilling. <laughs> Tell it again. Um, so, you girls, you live around here? I, I, mean, I don't remember huh? seeing you here. I haven't seen you around Can here. Can you guys excuse me for just a minute? I have to go to the little girl's room. Oh, um. Well, I'll come too. <laughs> Be right back, boys.
Norman? Norman? Up here. What are you doing? I'm washing my shirt. I've got syrup on it. Syrup? Yeah, that idiot Tramer. He was eating waffles. Pen Tramer? Uh huh. Hmm. Where were you? Christie's. Christie's the bar? Yep. Let me guess. You were with Lurie, I suppose. What's that supposed to mean? I didn't know you were such a bar fly. Yeah, well, there's a lot you don't know about me. up. Come on, Jason, move it. Well, Sandy, as you can imagine, this quiet little community upset over the disappearance of this man, 47-year-old Glenn Brackett. Now, Glenn's wife tells us that he left his home yesterday morning for his daily run here at Clare Lake and never returned. All the people that we've spoken with say that this is unlike I know, He's I know. I just, uh... I just couldn't stand it any longer. Obviously. What'd you end up doing? I took them both on. You did not. I did. Get out. You get out. So, what was it like? It was better than I expected. Damn, girl. What else could I do? You left me high and dry. Let me call you back, Lori. There's a cop at my door. A cop? Whoa, easy there. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's okay, ma'am. I'm Officer Meeker. Okay. I spoke to your husband early this morning at school. Just wanted to ask you a few questions as well. Questions? Did you know this young lady? Hmm, no, I don't think so. She was a student at the university and was in one of your husband's classes. Okay. And she didn't come home last night. Why? Yeah, so we're just asking uh, anybody who might have known or seen her. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. I can't be any more of help to you, sir. That's okay, ma'am. Enjoy your day. Same to you. Knock. Oh, Christ, it's a royal visit. What the hell do you want? Greetings to you too. 
What you doing? Working. You should try it sometime. Nah. Cops ask you about Rachel? You know they did. Bizarre, huh? Not really. Not really? Yeah, people disappear all the time. It's normal. You know her well? What do you want, Tramer? Nothing. I just... You just what? I saw your wife at Christie's last night. Wonderful. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. Sure thing, Dr. Hardy. Thank you. Hey, get... You know you're not allowed in there. Hi, I'm Alice. Jeez, Louise. Welcome to the neighborhood. doesn't stop, does she? <laughs> you got that right. Jeez. Scare you? It's, it's, it's okay. Are you okay? I think so. I'm Alice. Well, hi, Alice. I'm Bill. Sorry for scaring you. It's ya. okay. You didn't. This is Jason. Hi, Jason. Good boy. <laughs> like you've just been out on a jog? You look like uh, you've been on a hike. <laughs> yeah. I actually just moved here. I gotta tell you, this lake is stunning. It's my, uh, my zen spot. Anything bothering me, I just bring it here and leave it. That sounds like a good idea. Uh-huh. And what, uh, what brought you here? Ah, time for a change. Start over. Make new friends. You just made one. Well, thanks, Alice. <laughs> Certainly in a big hurry, huh? Yeah. Is this you? Yeah, my baby. Hmm. I like it. It's a little dirty, I guess. That's okay. I like dirty. <sighs> it was really nice meeting you, Alice. Same here. I, I'd, uh, I'd like to see you again. You know, if... If... 
I noticed you weren't, you know, wearing a ring or anything. You, uh, you noticed that? First thing. <laughs> Sorry. It was, it was nice meeting you. Same here. Bill. I'm usually here every day, about the same time. Really? Really. to welcome you to the neighborhood. I think these people are a little off, Jason. like this happens because there is like what like he's moving and he wants to get rid of some unwanted like his wife oh my god will you give me a break i didn't say that what's he doing now he keeps scrubbing his floor real hard nope cleaning up the mess oh give me a break i never should have told you well you did and now you have to face the fact that your neighbor murdered his wife he's a college professor so people are never what they seem you want me to come over? No, no. Norman will be home any minute. Oh, no, oh God, no. Oh, God. Where do you go? Where the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, shh. Come on, boy. Whoa. Jeez. Oh, Oh, hi. Hello, what's up with you? Huh? You look like someone just walked over your grave or whatever. You didn't think that was strange? Are you listening to me? Honey, there's a million logical explanations for that. Name one. I don't know. You need to check him out at the school. See what you can find out about him. Okay. Anything new on this girl? Hmm? I said anything new on this girl, Rachel. No, I don't think so. Did you know her? Nope. I thought she was in your class. Yeah, she was. I didn't know her. I gotta go get some work done. What the hell are you 
doing? Get away from there! He definitely murdered his wife! God, why do I tell you things? I say we go over there and confront the little fuck! Just get in here. Come on. Okay, Sherlock, what do we do now? Nothing. We don't even know he did anything. Of course he did something. Oh. Old Suckroy over there murdered his wife. Will you stop? You're the one who said so. I said I thought he murdered his wife. You're the one who's so certain. You're damn right I'm certain. So this is what we're gonna do. Shh, Norman will hear you. So what? I wanna go over Are there. Are you insane? Yes, totally. So when he's at school tomorrow, you and I will- Do nothing. He lost No. He lost his wife. And we're gonna find her. Will you listen to yourself? She's probably up in the attic, stuffed and mounted by now. At least that's what I would do if I were him. Oh, Lori, just. Oh, no, 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 that's right, that's right. He threw her in the lake. Kept her head, though, as a little trophy. Stop. First of all, I think he's on to me. All the more reason. And sec. We think your new neighbor murdered his wife. Oh, is that so? Yeah. And dumped her in Claire Lake. Lori. Well, I guess we should call the police then. Oh. Good plan, Norm. No police. I hate police. He's a college art professor, and so is his wife. So? What does that have to do with anything? He's not capable of murder? You'd be surprised at what people are capable of, Norm. Lori. Some men wear women's underwear on their head at night. Some men cheat on their wives with younger co-eds. Oh. And some men dump their wives in Claire Lake. You seem to have figured it all out. She's just talking, Norman. No, I'm not. So what's your deep, dark secret? All right, that, that's enough of this conversation. Norman, dinner's almost ready. You eat it. I'm not hungry anymore. Don't do this, Norman. Norman, thanks a lot. He's a jerk. That jerk is my husband. Why don't you ever take my side in because these things? Because he's my husband? Why are you in this, this, this what? fucked up situation, this relationship? Because I'm not a quitter? No. He's a quitter. He quit on you. My mother was a quitter. Yeah. Well, your mother was Looney Tunes, girly whirly. <laughs> and Norman is a carbon copy of her. It's funny how we marry our parents. We don't even know for sure. Oh, God, you are in such denial. Would you rather be a quitter or a chump? God, you scared me. Come here. Come here. You know what we need, Jason? We need a kayak. <laughs> Tell me about it. Come here, boy. That would rock. <laughs> yes. I have a kayak, too, in fact. Oh, my God. You scared me. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Well, well. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, well, I've been, I've been coming out here every day since we met. Oh? Oh, yeah. Hoping I'd run into you again. Huh. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> you didn't. You're a blessing. I'm not. <laughs> Go get a boy. 
So, would you like to go kayaking sometime? Uh, sure. Great. Great plan. Kayaking. When would you like to go? Any, any time would be fine. Alice? Uh, Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fine. How about, uh, how about tomorrow? Oh, that's great. That, I'll meet you right here, say, 2 o'clock. That sounds wonderful, Bill. Thank you. Are you kidding? Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Come on, boy. 2175 to dispatch. I'll be out at Clare Lake, Carpenter County, for the possible accidental drowning. Excuse me, do you know where the art department is? Yeah, it's right over there. Thank you. A uh, list of your faculty members. Sure, do it's uh, right there. Mm. Uh -huh. Pamela Myers. She's not in today. Her classes are canceled too this week. I think she's really sick. She's not sick. She's dead. Huh? Awesome, thanks. Any idea what room he's in? He's beside you. Oh, Jesus! <gasps> Professor Myers. Mind your own business. Art department. What have you done with her? Mind your own fucking business. Well, nice to finally meet you to have you over sometime. You and Pam love to make you some corn. We are here on the campus of Carpenter University in Carpenter County where several young women have vanished. Now we've talked to campus police, we've talked to local police, and they say that these disappearances are not connected, they appear to be random, but we have talked to students here on campus who say they really are on edge. The women in particular say they don't want to walk on campus alone, they're staying indoors at night. All the same, Chief Meeker urges everyone to remain calm. He says there's nothing to fear here. He promises that a suspect should be apprehended apprehended within a matter of hours. Reporting live in Carpenter County, Kimberly Suters, F13 News.
Jesus. What the hell is going on around here? Hey, buddy. What you doing? You know, the men's area is over here. Wouldn't want you to get lost. This is really something. Can't believe you've never done this before. No. Nope. I've lived a sheltered life. <sighs> I can't get over how gigantic this lake is. I know. God knows what secrets it holds. What you mean? Nothing. Let's go over there. You're the boss. <laughs> was really great. I know. You know, huh? <laughs> oh, you're preaching to the choir. What happens now? You tell me. Wow. You like that, huh? We discovered several bodies in Professor Meyer's home this afternoon. That's impossible. I wish. He didn't show up for school today, and his colleague came by to check up on him. Was his wife in there? No. Well, him and his wife have disappeared. Damn dog. Look, I'm going to need to ask you a few questions when you have a minute. Yeah, that's... That's fine. I don't know how much help I can be. Neither of them ever spoke to me, really. Well, uh, he did. Brenda Bartram over at the school said you stopped by there yesterday. Yeah, I, I stopped by to talk to my husband. In the art department? Well, I stopped by there, too. And why? Can we talk about this another time? I'm a little freaked out by sure, all Sure, we can, and we will. Any ID? 
idea who's in there. Rachel Crothers, for sure. We don't know about the others yet. out on the circus. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Meeker says he's coming back. He wants to talk to you. Yeah, whatever. Is that my shirt? Nope. What's for dinner? Whatever you make. I see. You do. Well, me too. I see everything. Should you answer that, Professor? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good boy. Good evening, Reggie. We're here at 1013 Orange Grove Road in Carpenter County, where police have made a gruesome discovery. Several dead bodies in the house behind me. Now, I just spoke with Chief Meeker. He says that one of the dead could belong to that of missing Carpenter University student, Rachel Carruthers. We've been reporting on a rash of missing persons over the last six months, and today, all day, now we're learning the owner of this home, University Professor Samuel Myers and his wife Pamela, are nowhere to be found. We're going to continue to follow the latest developments in this breaking story in and out of this house. An important detail to note, the owners of this home, respected Carpenter University Professor Samuel Myers and his wife Pamela, Jesus fucking are nowhere Christ. to be found. Oh, let me guess. You have to run back to school real fast. Just go. It's Lori. Scram. You know, you two are perfect for each other. Tell you, bitch ass. Hey, Lori, cheer up. Oh, I absolutely hate being right all the time. Yeah. Hey, what was that Rolling Stone song? The one where the man kills everybody? Oh, jeez, what are you stuck on? See, even he agrees with me. The trash and people killed him. His wife, didn't he? Yes, he did, didn't he? Oh, boy. But now. It's the scene of a crime. He was a normal man, a quiet man who kept to himself. Yet deep down, something sinister lurked, something unspeakable. Yet no one ever suspected him of foul play. Are we finished yet? <laughs> you know, you don't even need me for this conversation. <sighs> so what did the cops say about what? I don't think he did it. Are you stoned? No. So the bodies just magically appeared? Maybe. Oh God, you're so annoying. The good professor over there whacked his wife, then went on a killing rampage. Whose shirt is that? No one's. Little slut. I have no idea what you mean. You are just glowing. I'm always glowing. Did you get your fuck on? Oh my god, what are we in high school? Who, 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 who is it? Who, 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 who? If you don't tell me, I'm gonna tie your titties in a knot. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I am so proud of you. Mm -hmm. I am in awe of you, you sexy motherfucker. 
What's his name? Bill. Bill. A guy named Bill. Oh, that is so sexy. How was it? Mm. Mm, it was so wonderful. I'm so jealous of you. Me? What about you and that hunk wagon out there? Oh, I never get a glow on when I'm with boys like that. Speaking of, what ever happened to those hunks at the bar? They're in my trunk. Mm. Is that right? That way, if I need them, I got them. Everybody wins. <laughs> <laughs> Where was old fuck nuts going? Who cares? You are batting a thousand tonight. You are right. Who the fuck cares? It's hard to believe that you are living right next door to a mass murderer. Stranger things have happened. That's true. Hey, you're gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be just fine. It's been over for a long time. I guess we just made it official tonight. I guess. Time to stop living in denial and move forward. Now you are talking. Listen, I gotta get going. Gonna get you any more boy toys? Ah, uh, no, <laughs> I don't have room in my trunk. <laughs> you call me, okay? I oh. will. You too. Hey, Jason. Oh, oh, yes. Let's go call Bill. Come on. Marcy Jack's in the house. Hey, stranger. Hey, Marcy. What are you doing out here all alone in the dark? What's the matter? Well, I think I'm on my way to a divorce. Well, that's good, right? I mean, you're not in love with her anymore. So what if your marriage is ending? Better that than your career. You know, if people find out about us? We haven't done anything. Not yet. Somebody told me they'd take me skinny dipping tonight. Man, I still can't believe about Professor Myers. And poor Rachel. She was in my poli sci class, you know? She was sweet on you, I think. You know, they think Annie's the other one. The cook. Not anymore. Nobody's seen her since Sunday. Hold on to those for me. Let's go to the lake. Keep on sniffing, fella. Be right there. <laughs> tell me about yourself, Alice. Not much to tell, I'm afraid. It's a pretty short book. Ever been married? Yeah. So what happened? Time for a change. Change is good. Yeah. How about your parents? Why do you want to know about this? I don't know. No reason, really. Just suddenly dawned on me that 
I don't know much about you. And I think I'm really falling for you. You still here? No, I'm not. You been sleeping here? Look, I'm busy, Ben. Well, let me know if you need a place to stay. Oh yeah, I will. I'll give my best to Alice. We'll find him, Chief. We'll find him. I mean, what were you thinking, sir? What was going through that fucking head? Well, for the record, I, I didn't actually let him off the leash. I just let go of the leash. This is, this has never happened before. Find him. Yes, sir. Now! Christ, it's like the fucking Brady Bunch around here. What do you got? Well, nothing good, I'm afraid. Just strange. Oh, I just love strange. Well, we found water in both their lungs. Water? That's right. Well, the killer could have drowned them in the bathtub. After he strangled them? It's been done. We're gonna have it tested, but I'll bet my paycheck that it came from Claire Lake. Claire Lake. And why do you say that? It's murky. We've been pulling a lot of stuff out of there lately. Yeah. Anything sexual with the girls? No, there's been no sign of sexual assault, not even consensual intercourse. Hmm. All right, well, I'll get back to you when we know more. Yeah, do that, sweetie. How come you always have a knife in your hand every time I come over here? Maybe because I'm, uh... Always cooking. May I help you? May I come in? Mm, sure. Your husband home? No, he's not. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you're all right. What with all the uh, commotion around here the past few days? Yeah, it's been uh, pretty hectic, to say the least. Yeah, I just want to assure you that we have everything under control, and we will find the professor sooner than later. That is a relief. Yeah, it's just that, um, I don't know, uh, did you ever say anything that, that might have seemed odd? No, not that I can think of. They only just moved in. Right. And what were you doing in the art building the other day? I went looking for someone. Who? Ben Tremer. He um, teaches there. But not in the art department. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I thought I saw him go in there is all. Right. You have a nice night. Yeah, you too. Dr. Hardy? Are you going somewhere? Nope. What? Come on, you can do it. Sheriff Meeker called today. He did? Twice. Really? Is everything all right? Peachy, what do I do with my tie? Marcy Jacks dropped out of school today. Who? Marcy Jacks, she's one of your students. She emailed Hope Smith this morning, you know, the president of the college. Yeah, I know who he is. Well, he wants to see you and Sheriff Meeker when they get done with Ben. Tramer. Uh, he's been over there all day. Yeah, send that fat fuck over here when he's done, okay? You mean Tramer? Yeah. You can go now. That's it. 
you stay there. You know, maybe we'll go kayaking later. How about that, Jason, huh? I think things are gonna work out okay, boy. Still think his wife is in there. We really should go in there and find her. I think she'd like that. Come on, Jason. Let's go make Bill some dinner. He was here about an hour ago, but he left. Hey, stranger. Fancy meeting you here. Bizarre is more like it. What were you doing up at the lake? Nothing. Hanging out. Thinking. Thinking. Come on. Jump in. I'll give you a ride home. I'm okay walking. Come on, honey. Let's try and make this work. Come on. This isn't like you. Yeah, well, maybe I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. Maybe. I bought a bottle of wine. I thought we could have dinner. What's with all this mud? And what is that smell? Yeah, I gotta clean this car. Just some paint. Let's go inside. I'm starving. Where's Jason? Why is he outside? Well, I just thought, you know, it'd be better if he wasn't in here begging. We could have some privacy. He doesn't beg. Here, taste this. Good? Great. Okay, let's eat. Why don't you go sit down and I'll bring everything in, okay? Oh no. Not that guy again. No, 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 no. Let's, let's pretend we're not here. Aren't you tired of cops? I'm so sick of cops. I mean, how many more questions can they ask us about Myers? Jeez. No, no, no. Don't move.
Just um, go to the bathroom first, okay? Okay, let's make it quick, babes, okay? you could use some help.
really did beat the piss out of you, didn't he? Wanker! What? What do you mean, what? You're not mad at me because I saved your life, are you? I'm not mad at you, Lori. It's just... Where did you get that axe? At the axe store. No. I mean, where? Oh, from the trunk of my car. You carry an axe in your trunk. Yeah. Why? In case I want to cut somebody's head off. Which reminds me, you've got to clean up that mess. I don't want to get involved with any pigs. Oh. No, I don't so much want that either. Okay. Um, I'm going to take care of the body. And um, I want you to take that car up to Clear Lake. You know, just leave it there, okay? Piece of cake. The cops will find it there. We want them to find it there. You act like you've done this before. Nobody is ever what they see. Didn't you tell me that once, Alice? <laughs> yeah. I mean, people are ultimately unknowable. We never really do know our friends. I don't think that People really pay attention, Alice. You follow me? <sighs> You're taking this so well, my little Alice. Ever since you started playing fucky, fucky again. Give me a hand with his legs. Hello, fellas. This is Norman. He can be a real bite in the ass, so try to be nice. Nothing like a little head, huh, Professor? I'd just love me some head. Hey, boys. God. I hate men. It's never what we see. It's nobody is ever what they see. It's see. Listen, give me a call when you hear from Meeker. He's bound to come around. All right. You okay? You'd be surprised at what I'm capable of. I don't think there's anything that could surprise us now. Hey, take that to the lake. I will. Right. Later, Gator. Morning, Mrs. Hardy. Ms. Hardy. How are you holding up? Good. I'm good. Have you heard from him? No, not since he worked me over. All right, we got this area pretty well covered. Uh, also have a nationwide APB. So we will find him. Just a matter of time is all. I understand. Meantime, I'm going to have an officer camp out here just so you'll feel safe. No, that's not necessary. Oh, uh, I insist. You're going to be OK. I know. <laughs> What's he got there? Looks like a, a headband or a wristband or something. Thank you very much for stopping by, officer. Well, my pleasure. Uh, if you need anything, uh, call me. Anything at all. Yeah. 
Stupid fucking dog. Give me that. How many times do I have to tell you to stay out of there? been planted those girls in your house. She was always such a fucking douchebag. I know there's no way you could have killed those girls. We both know you were home alone at night. To visit you. <laughs> oh, you two need to get a room. Hi, Miss Hardy. Hmm. The chief asked me to stop by. Oh, he did, did he? Well, you're just in time. I think I found your fucking bloodhound. You did? <laughs> Hell yeah. Come with me, you cute little muffin. Boy, how we doing today? <laughs> that good, huh? Mm. What shall we do today? Ah, the sky is the limit. Mm, you're such a good little doggy. 
Mommy's little boy. Maybe we can go to the lake later. How's that for a plan? And then we can go find Bill. That sounds grand. Hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. 